What's up? What's up, folks? Alright. It's a little early for me. Just rolled out of bed. Do a video for you. I think I'm going to title this video. This will be a, a real life video because this will be on title and title this DWB. It still happens. Now, DWB is driving while black. But all races go through this. I'm just using driving while black because. Well, I drive, and I'm black, so let me go. Before I go, I want to say one thing. There's this one clown on YouTube. He made a few videos, made a couple. He talked about how some channels are hood trash, ghetto trash, because motherfuckers aren't wearing suits and this and that. And He kind of ran people down. I, I was included in that group, but he didn't want to say my name. So I'm going to play his game for a minute. So I'm not going to say his name. My point to you, my point to him, and I'm not on the highest of diddy, I have more than anybody else shit. But I have no problem putting a motherfucker like him in this place, so. Let me prove a point to him, then I'll roll into the video. You see, Duke, it ain't about what you wear. It ain't about how much money you have. It ain't about what you spend it on. Because let me break it down for you. These sunglasses that I'm wearing right now cost about 10 times as much as your polyester suit does and I'm giving you the fact, I'm giving you the fact, I'm giving you the credit matter for, I mean, my fault, I'm giving you credit for that your suit costs at least $100 now a lot of people will be saying, oh he's full of shit, this, that's and the third but I pay for these sunglasses like man, it was five years ago, three five years ago, these cost about as much as ten of your suits. Mind you, ten of your suits gone at a hundred dollars, and that's really high end for your suits because I know your suits ain't costing no hundred dollars, and you only got like one suit. And like for you non-believers, read this. Yeah, it's real deal shit. So I wanted that's for him and his little skeptics talking all that. Well hood trash this that and the third cause you wear a suit no man cut that shit out this by the way that's a lovely picture ain't it that costs about four of your suits so let's cut all that shit out about how what you look like makes this that and the third or this that or whatever it's about what you're saying. If it's look, man, if you could be a homeless motherfucker, if you're talking real shit, you're talking real shit. So we're done with that. All right, let's move on. Now the top of this video is DWB. Yeah, it still happens. Now DWB, like it happens in all races, but I'm gonna focus on this for a minute. DWB is John Wall Black. Now, as you can assume, I probably experienced it. You probably experienced it, and others probably experienced it. Now, different variations of it is, let me use an example for white people that probably been through this. Say you're strolling through a unsafe neighborhood, which is usually black and Hispanic neighborhoods. Or, if you're white, it's an occasional trailer park or where dirty white people live. An unsafe neighborhood. Now, imagine you're a white person, you're driving a nice ride, so you're going through at 3, 4 in the morning. Chances are, you're going to get a 50 done on you, and then you're going to get a check, and more than likely, Depending on where you're pulling out of, you're going to get pulled over. And don't say it doesn't happen, because all you got to do is watch some episodes of Cops and it happens. You may be dropping off a friend there, but you're still going to get pulled over because you'll be getting, well, what are you doing in this neighborhood? Even though you're in America, you'll be like, what are you doing in this neighborhood? Okay. Now, I'm going to relate the story to me. Here what happened. I was going home for Christmas. Now, I went back east. Now, I'm driving along the interstate, man. And mind you, I know the rules in our state. If it says 65, and you look at me, I'm doing 63. So I'm sitting there driving along, and I'm in a black on black car. So I'm sitting there driving now. Down the side, this is from the old days, so I'm always wearing my surroundings. Now, down the, like maybe a mile down, I mind you, this is a straight strap, a shot, straight shot. I see a black state boy coming in a Dodge Charger. And it was coming, he's coming up. Now, as he's getting closer, he didn't have no 
He didn't have no radar on his side. He didn't have none of that mess. And as I was coming through, there was no helicopters. There was no cops sitting inside the emergency turnarounds or side or whatever. There was nothing. He was just coming up. So all of a sudden, I'm sitting there looking. And like, just this is from the old days. This is paranoia. Now, mind you, I'm going home. I'm a working dude, right? So I'm sitting there driving. And I checked my speed to be sure. So I, I was in like 60, 63 because I had cruise control on. So... All of a sudden, I, whenever he went past, I put my eyes on my side view mirror. All of a sudden, he had said emergency stop. The emergency turn around on the highways, and he turned around. Now, I'm not thinking nothing of it. At first, I wasn't. All of a sudden, he crept on the side. And I'm sitting there driving. I'm like, no, he's not. And so I'm sitting there driving and driving and driving. All of a sudden, he pulls, he pulls off to my left like towards the back but he couldn't get behind me but because there was a truck behind me like a trucker behind me so we're going on we're playing this game for about an hour mind you i'm just going home and i'm taking i'm taking stuff home for like poor people less fortune i'm taking stuff i have bags and stuff in my car to like for like not for me it's for like charity stuff just giving stuff away so all of a sudden we're out about a mile after this game the trucker the nice guy that he was Decides to break and let him in. So I'm like, oh, first I was like, oh, fuck him then. So after he did that, he automatically swung over. And after that, I knew what time it was. So still I'm going 63, 60, 63. All of a sudden, about half a mile, the cherries light up. And I'm like, here we go. So I pull over. And then automatically, my hands are at the positions. I know the deal. So he pulls over. And all of a sudden, I'm sitting there doing, you know, the five minutes, because he's doing, he's doing the 50 on me, you know he is. So he, I had my hands on the, like, 10 and 2 position, and I were parked. All of a sudden, he pulls up beside me, walks up to the window. My window's down, he's like, uh, excuse me, Mr. So-and-so, uh, you know why I pulled you over? Now, I do know why you pulled me over, it's because I was black. Now, I didn't say that, because I ain't gone through no hassle of finding something on me. Not that I'm saying he would have, but I'm just saying. I'm not, sometimes when they get shitty, depends on their attitude. I mean, I met people, state boys and city cops, who gave me warnings. I can't front. I ain't saying all police are fucking assholes. Like, there's a lot of them that are good, but there's this, it's like the population. You get the bad apples, you got your good ones. So, end of that. So he pulls up. He goes, you know, I pulled you over. And I'm like, well, honestly, no. And he said, uh, well, uh, you were speeding. Now, mind you, he didn't have no radar, and to make sure, once he pulled over, I looked behind me in my rearview mirror, he didn't have no radar. Usually, they have the radar up top where they have it on the sides. Now, mind you, there's no helicopters flying either, and there's nobody on the side, and there's nobody inside a little, like, if you go on a highway sometimes, in the wooded areas, every once in a while, they'll cut strips out of the woods, so they park back in there. Now, mind you, there was none of that around. And I told him, I was like, officer, I said, I really don't believe that. And I said, I just got off work, I'm going back home. And I told him I live in Columbus. Then he said, well, where's your home at? And I was like, where I'm from. I said, I'm going back where I grew up. I said, I moved to Columbus. I gave him my work address. I gave him the whole nine. Then there was bags there. And then I took upon myself to say, look, if you want to inspect the car, go right ahead. I said, there's the bags. I said, and I opened the bag. And I said, it's stuff I'm giving away for charities and for homeless people. And when he saw that, he said, well, he gave me a speech about slowing down and having a nice day and letting me go. Now, mind you, I knew what was going on. He knew what was going on. But I wasn't going to sit there and yell, rant, and rave so I could get some charges on me thrown. I was just like, all right, it's the price you got to pay living in America. But the bad part about it is it's not just me. There's other people that go through that, and I feel bad for them. Like, I can handle it. There's other people who, like, if you see a person in a nice ride and in a bad neighborhood, chances are you're going to get pulled over, whether you like it or not. So, all I'm saying, I'm used to it. It's a shame for other people to have to go through this, but I'm just letting people know because people ask me if it still happens. Yeah, it still happens. So, that's about it for this video, and I'm out, man. Laters.